On this week's episode of Law & Order NCSU, we are going to be exploring the case of the missing NC Jewel using DNA fingerprint analysis. The North Carolina State Museum has found a priceless jewel and has enlisted the trust of some of the strongest mascots to protect it, but it has gone missing. On the night our beloved Tuffy was watching the jewel, he was fought by a masked suspect, and the jewel was stolen, but our suspect made a mistake and left a bloody fingerprint after breaking the glass, so who did it? The museum staff worked with the police to carefully collect the DNA evidence. As a precaution, they asked that all the mascots who guarded the jewel be added to the list of suspects. They performed a gel electrophoresis analysis. This will take the DNA and separate fragments according to size. This test will help the police narrow down the possible suspects. This is the gel results of the first locus. So after some analysis, we see we have a correlation on the first locus for suspect one, PD the pirate, and suspect two, Ramses the ram, with the evidence collected from the crime scene. We also see that the bands on suspect three do not match the evidence at all, and only one band on suspect four matches the evidence, so they are less likely to be the thief. We can also see we have a, a possible relationship between suspect three, Aggie the bulldog, and suspect four, the run-in bulldog, so suspect four could possibly be Aggie's dad. Now let's analyze the second locus. We can first confirm the parental relationship between suspect three and four because they have a matching allele on both loci. So the Renan Bulldog is Aggie's, the Bulldog's dad. But more importantly, we see another match uh, on the evidence with suspect two and suspect four. Suspect one and three only share one matching band with the evidence. So again, they're less likely to be our thief. And for um, both loci, Tuffy's DNA does do not match. So he, it's not him who committed the crime. So who did it? There's only one suspect who had matching bands at both loci. Through our analysis, we conclude that it was obviously Carolina's mascot, Ramsey, trying to steal the jewel to match that tacky Carolina blue. That's another case closed. Here are my sources, and make sure to tune in next week for the next episode of Law & Order NCSU.